MTD CNC have travelled to Bristol to Broadway Engineering Limited. The company was founded in 1937 and predominantly does aerospace work. I'm going to find out and investigate the secrets behind their success and how they've evolved over the years. And I'm going to meet with Seb Green, the Managing Director. Seb, what are the secrets to your success, but also the longevity behind this fabulous company? I mean, you seem to just be going from strength to strength. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we really concentrate on complex machining. So we do a lot of different components, lot, lots of different types of materials, quite exotic materials. Um, but really, it's just all around having a really good team around us to help us deliver that over these years. Who, who are your customers? And, and you know, uh, you, predominantly you are aerospace, but you also diversify, diversify into a, a different work. Yeah, absolutely. We've got Rolls-Royce is our, is our biggest customer. We have Bombardier, we have Pattern Air, and we uh, other kind of aerospace companies within that. But we also do a lot of work for um, energy generation, uh, for the railways, marine stuff, we do some work for Jap Japan as well, um, Siemens and um, Samsung. And how do you find, you know, the aerospace industry at the minute? Is it buoyant? Absolutely, feels very buoyant. Um, probably a year ago we had about 12 million on the order book, now we've got 17 million. So really growing um, and, and turnover is growing with us as well. I mean, that's a huge growth. Now, in regards to the sustainability of that growth, what investments have you made? Yeah, we definitely uh, had to make some key investments. It's all about getting the processes um, as firm as possible. And really, when we're looking at things like our, our Nakamura investments, where we were having things done in five operations, we've really tried to uh, reduce that so they can be done in one operation or two operations. So having the Nakamura's with the twin spindles, with the C and Y axis, so you've got mill turn capability altogether has been key. And uh, obviously the investments into to our five axis, we've continually invested in that. Uh, uh, just again to reduce that, the number of setups and just make sure that we can be there to support our customers in terms of really good delivery and quality performance. Can you give me any more examples of some, you know, some of the growth that you've had here at, at Broadway Engineering and, and steps that you, you're taking looking into the future to win even more work? Yeah, I mean, we've, we've grown organically over the years, quite considerably, 20% um, uh, year, year on year and on some of, those, some of those years. So really good growth. But as well as the organic growth, we have had um, acquisitions that we've done. So there was a, um, a company in Cheltenham and a key company in, in Malvern, really, which is uh, P&S Tools, that we, did, um, that we acquired probably about four years ago now and they they do larger components than than we do but still very complex machining and 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 difficult um, metals to, to machine as well complex castings um, so that they can do parts up to 1.5 meters on the mills and 1.25 meters on the on the laves but they've got a really good team up there as well as we have down here in Bristol um, so again being absolutely key to allow us to to, to grow to where we have been over the over the last few years now you, you mentioned people within the organization is also a massive key factor you've got a lot of long-serving employees here but what about the apprentices how are you getting new skilled people coming into this organization yeah skilled people and having uh, is absolutely key and um, we've got a lot of people that have been here for many many years a couple of people that have been here 40 years um, so it's getting that right type of mixture of people, people that have got the knowledge and experience, but also bringing the people in behind them. So apprentices and trainees, we bring three to four apprentices every single year through our, through our, um, our team. And uh, we use Beamer as well as um, our own group of machines here that we, manual machines that they, they learn on and develop. Um, but we also have a, a few graduates and, and trainees that we bring in uh, to support that development as well. Now, the, the complex development work that you mentioned, is, it, is this a core part of the business moving forward? Um, yeah, we absolutely do a lot of development work for um, our customers, as well as legacy work, as I kind of mentioned, which are you know, quite a lot of complex work, tied up um, tolerances and, um, and you know, exotic materials, as I, as I kind of mentioned. Um, but what we're trying to also do is, is on these development parts, is, is, is invest in um, single point setups, um, grid plates so that in the future we can really push towards um, automation 
and um, get these out of our um, out of hours machining in place so that we can really be more competitive to our customer and um, uh, and really take the business forward that way as well. So that was really my next question, Seb. Is, is, is that the next steps for Broadway Engineering, you know, automation, zero point and unmanned running? Yeah, absolutely, it needs to be. We've only got a single shift here at the moment and instead of like progressing to a second shift, our strategy at the moment is to, is to look at the unmanned running and just really nailing down our processes on these jobs so tight and so well that we can get the automation going and, um, and benefit from the out of hours just so that we can be efficient to our customers and offer them the best prices uh, that they can get and stop really the work potentially going off, off to, to low cost countries.